So Donald Trump came out yesterday and said that he was uh, going to be cutting the U.S. funding of the WHO, the World Health Organization. Uh, the World Health Organization is tied to the U.N. It's basically their um, kind of global arm of public health outreach. They work with, you know, countries all over the world to help prevent, you know, the spread of things like the coronavirus. And the United States is one of the, I believe, is the largest funder of it and provides, um, I believe, hundreds of millions of dollars or so, something like that, of funding to the WHO each year. And so Trump is saying, well, you know, the WHO helped China cover up, you know, the virus and how it originated there. And, you know, so the, the WHO helped China, you know, hide hide the, the virus from getting out. And, you know, this is really ridiculous line of reasoning. And obviously... I think he's just doing this because he thinks um, he's trying to shift some of the blame from from himself and from his administration from all of the <laughs> failings throughout this process that, that have been demonstrated. Let's not forget the WHO had actually offered to give the United States test kits, um, I want to say back in February or March, something like that, but the Trump administration refused. And I think that was largely in part because Trump wanted to give it to these, you know, companies, these corporations, so they could develop the test and enrich themselves on it as opposed to getting it from the WHO. And, you know, then we have him downplaying it forever. And then once the, you know, economy started taking a hit, then he started to slowly jump in. We have his total lack of uh, appropriate response of actually using the Defense Production Act to, you know, compel these corporations to make this protective equipment that these medical workers and frontline workers desperately need. Things like the face masks, gowns, gloves, ventilators, etc. Um, because by using the, uh, by enacting the Defense Production Act, all these corporations, uh, the government would basically be the first customer. So those orders would have to get filled before these corporations could, um, you know, make stuff for private purchase or for private companies or whatnot. So totally, totally dragged his heels on that. He obviously also got rid of the um, pandemic response team in China that was supposed to be monitoring potential pandemics and public health risks, you know, that could be come back to, to the U.S. He also got rid of the um, pandemic experts on the Nas National Security Council. And, um, you know, he's cut the budget, I believe, as well to the CDC. And I mean, all of these things were, you know, part or parts of the reasons why the U.S. now has, um, it's like 2,500 people died yesterday from it, and now he's wanting to, you know, open up certain parts of the, uh, of the, of the states or the economy again, when we're still like really in the throes of this, as evidenced by 2,500 people dying yesterday, I believe, uh, the U.S. total, we have, I want to say it's like 700 thousand people have tested positive for the coronavirus in the United States um, and then you know his total lack of response from a economic perspective that 4.5 trillion dollar bailout which unfortunately all of the Democrats also went along with the only voice of dissent was actually that libertarian uh, Republican congressman from Kentucky Thomas Massey, shout out to him for seeing the canary in the coal mine, because as he pointed out, um, you know, this little $1,200 check was like the cheese in the trap. And then, you know, $4.5 trillion comes crushing down on us as this huge giveaway, this no strings attached uh, deal to these huge, massive companies and um, corporations while everybody else gets fucking, you know, dog shit, dog shit stimulus check at best. So again, Trump's wanting to 
defund the WHO and trying to say they're in cahoots with China, trying to cover up the outbreak in China and all that. It's just a way for him to deflect blame from all of the numerous failings from his administration, from taking this seriously <coughs> at the start to the lack of test kits, to the firing of the pandemic experts in China, to the cuts in the CDC, to getting rid of the, uh, you know, infectious disease experts on the National Security Council, um, downplaying it, saying, you know, it's not any better or not any worse than the flu, all of these things. He's just trying to deflect um, and trying to blame anybody that he thinks, uh, you know, that line of reasoning will stick to, to pr protect himself at all costs. And we shouldn't expect, unfortunately, anything else from Donald Trump. Peace. Much love.